President Obama laying out his energy and climate change policy and suggesting that he could be close to a decision on the Keystone XL pipeline. It would carry oil from Canada to refineries in Texas. But there are some new questions about a billionaire donor to the president who has conflicting interest with the Keystone project. John Roberts is live for us in Atlanta with more on this. John? Heather, good morning to you. Billionaire hedge fund manager Tom Steyer has been a vocal opponent of the Keystone XL pipeline, just launched a summer social media campaign to kill it, but he may have financial interest in seeing the demise of Keystone. You see, he started, found it, and still has investments with Farallon Capital, which still has substantial investments in oil, including a U.S. company, Kinder Morgan, which wants to expand a competing pipeline to Keystone in Canada, to Canada's West Coast. Critics accuse Steyer of standing to gain from a deal killing Keystone under the guise of environmentalism. The fact is he has billions of dollars of investments through his hedge fund in fossil fuels. Now he's launching this campaign against Keystone when his holdings will benefit from the killing of Keystone. Those are just the facts. Now, Steyer stepped down from Farallon late last year and says he is greening his portfolio, divesting himself of interests in oil and gas. But it's unclear where he is in that process. His spokesman, Chris Lehane, telling me yesterday, quote, this divestment has been taking place consistent with the applicable legal requirements. Heather. So how could killing a Keystone help Steyer? All right, let's take a look at the map, if you will. There are three pipelines proposed coming out of the oil sands in Canada. One is the Northern Gateway, one is Keystone XL. The other one is this Trans Mountain Pipeline. That's the one that Steyer has investment in. It looks like the Northern Gateway will not be built. If Keystone is killed, that leaves Trans Mountain as the only game in town able to carry more tar sands oil than Keystone XL to the west coast of Canada each and every day for export, Heather, to Asia. All right. John Roberts looking at it closely for us from Atlanta. Thank you. 950.